let's fix the issues we had earlier. Uh, here we can see that the thickness is, is not equal. Same goes on, on this side here. If we cancel the section here, we could even see that there seems to be a hole into our hair dryer. Here we can see it's really sharp. First thing to do is to turn on zebra stripes. Wow. Here we can see that they're, they're, they're not even connected. So it's not even tangent continuity. And here it, it's messed up completely. Okay, so to work with those loft surfaces, I will move up the timeline so it doesn't need to update everything. So I just stop underneath the mirror. It's nice to have the mirror uh, the surface is mirrored because then we could just check if the zebra stripes are all right. Uh, let's start with the first loft so we take them in the correct order. If we look at this one here we can see that the yellow line there that is the mathematics that actually would like to go a little bit further in than the spline the guide that we're forcing it to. Uh, so if I click on this guide here, oops, I don't want to add it into the profiles. So delete it and go down. So if I click on the guides here, we can see that it becomes thicker. Here we can also see that it doesn't have any direction. So this is not forced to be flat at the symmetry plane. So here we have a thing that we also need to fix and that is to have this, uh, this symmetry plane going straight in. So we need a direction vector and, and we need to make that. Another possibility is to make a surface out of that curve and then we get the direction as well. Okay, uh, in this case I think we cancel and go out from this and let's fix that direction vector so i will borrow a sketch that we already have we, actually we could use whatever sketch we like i go for this one here and just make a tiny little center line as a guide and because it's a center line it it will not influence this sketch here it, it doesn't really matter um, that it exists on that sketch. But I would like it to be perfectly horizontal or vertical. So I choose it and force it to be vertical. Okay, I go out from the sketch. So that is one thing. Another thing was that the guide curve here for the loft seemed to be a little bit too quick. So if we go in, we could, instead of having it quickly going in here you could make it a little bit wider in there maybe in this direction as well okay let's go back uh, to the loft now so now we see that these are a little bit closer to each other and let's choose that guide curve and add a direction vector and now we just have a direction vector here that I added in that sketch so that's good. The next thing is uh, to check if we could do something about the pattern here. Just looking at the pattern now, we can see that it's a little bit wobbly. So let's work with the powers of the continuity here. So this one here uh, could also be adjusted in the control panel. So if I change the values of this one step by step and look at the pattern here, maybe we could find a smoother solution. So we just click and, and that looks smoother. Here it, it changes uh, quite rapidly. Mm, so maybe we could do a compromise here. So let's go for that. Um, this guide curve here, um, there we don't have any, we, we, we don't force it in any direction here. So none is okay. Okay, if I accept that, you can see if it made any improvements. I think it did. 
Now I think the pattern here is connected. So yeah, look at that. That is really good. So now we have a smooth zebra pattern there. Okay, so maybe we could go and see what we could do on this side. So here we also have some issues. Let's go for this loft here. And instantly when we go into the loft, we can see that the yellow, which is the mathematics, where, where the mathematics prefer to have the surface, is a little bit changing uh, or going a little bit quicker here to from point to point. So maybe we could change that as well. Um, another thing is that again we need to check what the constraint is for this one. I go down and have a look at sketch number seven and you see that there is no constraint at all. Hmm. So here we should absolutely turn on uh, and instead of direction vector we now for this one have normal to profile and that's because it's made on a sketch a flat normal old-fashioned sketch uh, compared to the other one the first loft which was a 3d sketch so here we can just choose normal to profile which is what the sketch is and now we can see that we get a zebra pattern here that maybe we could tweak a little bit so again I will change the power of this one uh, this one also influences the, the pattern of course but let's start with this one and just click on the power here and looking at the pattern here that looks really smooth let's let's just continue until it looks strange and now mm, I don't like the behavior up there so let's go in the other direction again until it starts to become now it starts to be a little bit wobbly here okay so maybe something in between there that looks really nice let's accept that uh, before we accept that just let's double check that we have continuity over the surfaces here so for edge number sorry i mean guide curve uh, edge there for that surface we have already tangent to face so that's good uh, for a guide curve we can't go higher we, we don't have curvature there uh, for the hair dryer tangency is, is enough we accept this and let's see what happens oh, look at that it's absolutely awesome okay so let's say we go down with the timeline and have it making a, a shell and updating everything. So turn off the zebras, have the cross section. Yep, we solved it. Look at that. We have equal thickness here. Very nice. And now when we have the cross section uh, working, we could also see that maybe this is not what we preferred. So let's adjust uh, the pattern here a little bit. Yeah, so if I make the pattern a little bit wider in between so if I click inside where the pattern have made the surface we, we actually get a possibility here without going into the feature to, to change this so let's say say I go for nine millimeter and click rebuild and then we get a little bit of space in between there okay so I'm happy with this we have solved that one super working in this side of the hairdryer I can see that I have forgotten to make a chamfer here so let's add a chamfer yeah so if I go for instead of fillet just underneath we have chamfer you could make not 10 millimeter that is crazy let's say two millimeter and choose that edge there and now we get a preview Two millimeter is a little bit heavy as well. How about 1.5? Maybe just a one. Ah, we go for 1.5. So if you do that, we see that we have we don't have a two millimeter thickness here anymore. So what we could do is of course add a chamfer on the inside, but then we have all the other stuff there and it starts to become complicated. The easy thing here is just to take this chamfer and move it before the shell so let's see if i could grab this one and just move it just before the shell yep 
look at that now we have two millimeter everywhere okay